Howdy, Tubal Kane again. I'm digressing just a little bit from my usual fare of machine shop videos and uh, covering a few other things uh, this summer because I'm out in my garage uh, rather than my basement. And uh, the thing I wanted to cover today was this Emmert pattern maker's vise. It's quite old. I don't know when the last year that they made these, but I would think this one would be, you know, 75 or 100 years old. It's made by the uh, Emmert Manufacturing Company in uh, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Needless to say, it's made in good old USA. Quite a unique vise, and I'm going to show you some of its features here in a moment. Now, I've got it just temporarily mounted on a plank, a 12-inch plank, and it's a very heavy vise. Uh, I, it will not fit on my regular workbench here, which is, uh, uh, I've got a four-inch Colombian vise on there. Uh, it would tip the, uh, the whole table over. It's that heavy. So that's why I've got it mounted uh, on a plank. And the plank, in turn, is uh, tied down to the front end of my Moline tractor. And uh, if I may exaggerate a little bit, it darn near lifted the front end off until I changed the fulcrum that you see there uh, on that uh, gray bench. Uh, this is called a universal vise because it will uh, rotate and it will swivel and it will uh, uh, do just about anything else you can think of. It's uh, uh, 14 inches wide and it will open 12 or 14 inches. So it's capable of handling uh, very uh, large work. And uh, up here on my wall, I hope it might be a little dark up there. Let me turn on a light. I don't know if that helped or not, but there's an old pattern that's probably about 24 or 30 inches in diameter. But many of the patterns that these pattern makers were making uh, years ago were, were for large machinery, and they needed large vices and big work benches. And, uh, and big tools. Pattern makers were uh, highly paid and highly skilled men because everything that they made was going to be uh, reproduced thousands of times so it had to be done uh, very accurately. It's a cast iron vise. I can't find any damage or repairs on this. Usually these older things have uh, cracks in the castings and they've been welded and uh, uh, you know beat up, but this one is in uh, pretty good shape and Another unique thing about this one is it still has the bracket Underneath the bench which will allow this thing to tilt usually these are missing Because uh, they get taken off of the uh, The vice gets removed from the bench and the bracket does not get removed from the bench. I bought this at an estate sale last week and it was mounted on a bench that was 10 foot long and 4 foot wide. The bench must have weighed 500 pounds. Needless to say, I left it laid and I sawed the whole corner off of the uh, bench so I could uh, take this home. Now I'll show you some of its features. All of the patterns uh, that were made had taper on them, uh, which is sometimes called the draft. And uh, here's a tapered piece. This, the jaws on this vise will uh, turn at an angle of about five degrees. So I made up this piece just for a demonstration to show you how uh, that can be held. Oop, needs a new handle. Now, something else that it'll do. We can loosen the lock nut underneath here and swivel the whole vise 180 degrees, lock it, and we've got a little uh, metal working vise jaws. At least I consider them to be metal working. See if I can zoom in on that. Hope I'm not boring you, but this is something you're not going to see any other place. Now when I mounted this, uh, this is meant to be inset into the bench. This is all just temporary. So I just got it laying on the plank and uh, a couple of uh, bolts in there. And these two other bolts 
bolt that bracket on that I showed you. It could also be used in that position, vertical. Remember now, this will open 14 inches wide, and I'll do that for you in a minute. Now, starting to breathe hard. I'm so excited. Let's turn it like that, and uh, show you one other thing here. We've got uh, dogs that can be put up, and you know, you've seen these on other woodworking devices. I'm tapping them up with a lead hammer because they're a little bit stiff. And uh, there would be uh, another set of these on the bench as well. Usually in a series of holes. You've all seen woodworking benches in the junior highs. So you can, uh, very large work could be held between these dogs and dogs that are uh, further out on the bench. The vise will also tilt up at 90 degrees to what it is right now. Now I'm going to loosen that locking lever underneath. And it will tilt as such and we can lock it at any given point. That's about 45 degrees. And we still would have the capability of turning it around at that angle. Or we can tilt it a little bit more, all the way up at 90. And this would tilt, or swivel rather. Right now it's hitting these temporary bolts that I put in, but those would be countersunk on a final installation. So it would rotate at 30, 360 degrees. that angle or we can put her all the way down like such. I now have the vise open just about as far as it'll go. This is a 12 inch ruler and you can see that we got about three extra inches so it's about 15 inches and 12 inch ruler and you can see that the uh, jaws are 18 inches wide 18 inches wide so it's capable of holding uh, very large work here's a little uh, Wilton vise, woodworking vise on my son-in-law's uh, bench it's about six inch wide jaws and I always thought it to be rather uh, substantially built but for some reason it sure looks puny in comparison to the Emmert does it not? This old vise inspired me to get some of my old woodworking tools out. Here's an old Stanley transition plane. I sharpened it a little bit. I don't think it had been sharpened since Wilson was in office. Gotta love that sound. And love the smell of those shavings. Here's an old uh, Stanley number no. six. I think Harry Truman was in office when this was made. Can you imagine what it was like in those shops in the olden days? There would have been power equipment, but an awful lot of handwork was still being done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Emmert Pattern Maker's Vice. This is Tubal Kane signing out for a while. So long.